Okay, and welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. So today I'm going to talk about the best chess YouTube channels out there. Of course, apart from mine, I mean, mine's fantastic, but uh, seriously, talking about some of the best chess YouTubers out there, what you can learn from them, and also going a bit beyond looking at Eric Rosen or chess.com or Gotham Chess and looking at some of the smaller YouTubers, but are actually very, very good and help me improve my chess as well. Okay, before I start, please like, please subscribe, click that bell button, and then you can see what kind of videos I'm doing. And if you have any suggestions for new videos, please pop them down in the comments below. Okay, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to talk about two YouTubers in particular, maybe are overlooked in the chess community, uh, perhaps um, not as well known. I think actually John Bartholomew is actually pretty well known now, he's up to 163,000 subscribers, not too bad. I remember when he first started the channel out many, many years ago. I was one of his first fans, I think one of his first subscribers. Um, he goes on Twitch quite often these days. You can see a lot of the buttons here. Um, one thing I want to highlight from John's channel, um, you can see it's lots of different playlists, lots of different foci. So he looks at end games in the chess end games playlist. Using the clock as a weapon is a nice series. But one thing I want to highlight is the climbing the rating ladder series, which I think is very, very good. So if you go to playlists and scroll down to here, so climbing the rating ladder, and click on full playlist, you can see that he's actually made individual videos where he plays a few games and analyzes them against different grading levels. So this video here, for example, he plays um, a player less than a thousand in rating, um, whereas you can see some of the videos here, for example, so video six is a player between 1800 and 2000. And what this does is show you typical mistakes made at those kind of levels. John Bartholomew himself is an international master. Okay, rated around about 2400, I think, FIDE. And uh, obviously, the majority of the time he's beating these players, but he's showing you why he does beat them as well. He has quite a solid style. Um, I think it's a good style to learn, at least first out when you're new to chess, to really have those fundamentals in place. Think about piece placement, think about development, think about typical plans in, in the openings that you play as well. And I think he's a good, solid player to learn from initially. Okay, and the second YouTuber that I want to mention today is a player called Chess Explained. Um, he's been in the community for a long, long time, Christoph Selecki, also an international master. As you can see, he's created tons and tons of content. He did um, a big series on the Annan Carlsen World Championship Games, which you can see here. Again, what I'd like to highlight and what I've taken personally from Christoph is if we scroll down, you can actually see his Blitz videos that he used to record uh, about a year ago, three a day. So you can see it's about 2,400 of these Blitz videos. And it's a great way of seeing his ideas that he uses. He uses lots of different openings. It's not a case of staying always with the same openings. He is often making chess courses and then tries out those chess courses in these videos as well. And as I said, it used to do three a day. If I go to the playlist of the fairly recent ones, and just uh, show you some ideas. So he always labels it by opening. So say you're working on your English opening, for example, then what you can do is you can actually look for the English opening games that he plays. He plays a variety of different opponents. He plays against uh, some title players, IMs and GMs, and then just some ordinary amateur players like myself as well. And it's really, really good if you want to practice a particular opening, you can search through Lots and lots and lots of Blitz games to then get some practice in the lines. And also when I look at a chess course, like when I look at an opening chess course, for example, one thing I struggle with is what do people actually play? So what kind of moves do they play? It's very nice when the book says, ah, oh, the main line is da 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 da, 50 moves long. But what I find quite difficult is, okay, which lines are more likely to be played than others? Now, Using these Blitz chess videos from Christoph from Chess Explained is uh, one way you can do that as well. Um, both John Bartholomew and Chess Explained have courses on Chessable, which I'm going to show briefly as well. So this is a website where you can actually train your openings. And there's plenty of um, courses here free of charge. One from Jan Gustafsson, also very good YouTuber on Chess24, uh, amongst others as well. And you can actually practice these openings that John and... Christoph have both done courses for on the website as well. Okay, so 
particularly with Christoph, he's done tons and tons of content. He's even done some repertoire videos as well. So say you want to practice the repertoire for the King's Gambit, so you can see he's done a few videos on that as well in link to a repertoire for E4, E5 for Black. So if you're looking for free content out there, this is really, really good um, in terms of getting some of the basics and fundamentals in place. And he goes into quite a lot of detail as well. Um, so he does do quite a lot of his own opening research and he does share that on his YouTube channel as well. So I'd yeah, highly recommend that you look at Chess Explained's content as well. Okay there, so there you have it. That is my two favourite YouTube um, chess YouTubers. So Chess Explained, Christoph Selecki and John Bartholomew on his YouTube channel as well. I've learned a lot from them. I guess I have a reasonably similar style. I'm fairly solid, but you know, I'm not afraid to attack when... Uh, when provoked or when needed, you know, um, looking for that best move rather than always the safe move or the more aggressive move, trying to find that balance between the two things. Again, please let me know in the comments below who your favourite chess YouTubers are, and I'm really happy to add to this video as well. But just from my personal experience of being a 2100 player, um, these are the YouTubers that have really helped me grow as a chess player, and I hope they make you grow as well. All right, bye bye for now.